You know, all my life I've uh, had the opportunity to visit with farmers and ranchers and small business people that dot our small towns. You know, those same people are now saying that the uncertainty in Washington is causing them to hold back, to hold back on investing in their future, to hold back on investing in their hopes and dreams. My support for Shane is because I believe he's a very sincere individual and a man of high integrity. Oh, I think when you talk about somebody you can trust, Shane Gettle's clearly somebody that you can trust and has demonstrated that in every facet of the work he's done for the state of North Dakota to this, to this point. He legitimately cares about what people have to say to him, that he really wants to listen to what their problems are. He hasn't been a politician all his life. He's been working hard behind the scenes as well as in private business. He, ha he goes into it with a servant's heart, willing to, willing to help North Dakotans on the prudent issues like debt reduction, the flood relief program. He's not one of those individuals who's just going to take up a stump speech and, and have a few talking points that someone handed to him on his way to a vote. Washington seems these days to be assuming that all power starts there and is sort of delegated outward. That just flips things on its head. It also endangers our liberty. It endangers our freedom. I think Congress is kind of upside down right now because we don't have uh, control of the Congress. The Republicans are not in control, and I think uh, that along with the president that we have is a, is a total formula for disaster. As far as what's going on in Congress right now, I'm not really happy at all. The government is in a deadlock, and they're just racking up more and more debt. We have uh, these bipartisan issues where people aren't willing to come together to be able to deal with what America needs, with what the American people need. They've taken the regulatory creep out of Washington, D.C. and turned it into a regulatory stampede. And that's why we need to send somebody like Shane Gettle to Washington that can s slow that stampede, reverse it if possible, and bring some common sense back to Washington, D.C. I, I won't say that Congress is broken. I would say that Congress needs strong leadership. And I think that Shane brings that to the table. I want to get this nation back on track so that we don't send a pile of IOUs to the next generation. I think Shane does care about our generation. I think it's something that he, because he is a family man, he wants the best for what's to come. You know, North Dakota is a state that we can all be proud of. We help our neighbors when they need help. We saw that in the flood fights around the state this past summer. We're community oriented. We like our festivities. We like our fairs. We really like our ball game. The NDSU Bison are national champions. North Dakota is a great place to be. The economy is great. The job opportunities are phenomenal. Forget go west, young men. Head to North Dakota instead. There's so much opportunity for anything, just to do anything. The quality of life in North Dakota, South Dakota, where he was, seems to be improving with this increasing business presence. Workers, come on to North Dakota. I think of it that we are the model institution of the American dream. There's a job to do. You can't just shirk your responsibility. You can't just walk away. That's what I've learned on the farm and ranch, and that's what I hope to bring to Washington. North Dakota only gets one member in the Congress, and that's exactly right. We have to make it count. He knows how to make the decisions that make a difference. We have to be able to put somebody in the Congress that can work for all of North Dakota, and not Shane Gettle. I want to take the lessons that I've learned here in North Dakota and bring them to Washington, and maybe teach a few people out there a thing or two.